environment lighting. I'm just going to reduce this to 0.8. Okay, next let's look at the lamp. We need a lamp in our scene. And I'm actually just going to add one. I'm just going to right click here and shift A and add a lamp. And it's going to be a sun lamp. And I can just just drag this up, pressing G. It's not too important where it is at the moment. Okay, and we go into the sun properties or the lamp properties. We have it set to lamp. I'm going to reduce this energy to 0 0.08. Press enter. And I'm going to need a sky background. So put a check mark here. Okay, and for the blending, I'm going to reduce this to 0.2. Just tone it down, give it a nice gradient effect there. And I'm going to switch it to this option here. Okay. And for the backlight, I'm going to put this as minus 1. And the size, I'm going to put to 4. And I'm going to increase the brightness to 2. And the spread, I'm going to change to 4. And the brightness of the horizon, I'm going to point, point 0.05. This just tones down the color a small bit. And I'm going to come down here and choose Ray Shadow. Okay, and I'm going to leave it there for the lighting at the moment. Next, I want to select a character and set up a base material. So if we come over to the material tab click new okay I'm going to change this Lambert to a tune type material and for the color this is just going to be the base color that I'm going to select so it's, it's not going to make a difference and I can actually rename this I'm just going to call this tune press enter all right and for the intensity I'm just going to increase that to one for the size, I'm going to type in 1.280, press enter. And the specular intensity, I'm just going to increase that to 1. I'm going to change this one to tune as well. And if we scroll down here, I want to change some of these. I want to include full oversampling. Use mist is fine. And if we come down here to shadow, we want to receive transparent. And switch off auto ray bias. Okay, if we come back up the top, I might just change this color slightly more orangey kind of get a maybe we'll go for something for his skin first okay okay I'm gonna add a second slot here I'm gonna select tune and select plus and rename this to skin press enter okay and we can leave the color as it is I'm going to add a new slot and I'm going to add new and again I'm going to pick the tune as the base and just click plus rename this to hair press enter and for the hair I can change the color a little bit okay we can something like that okay if I click new again again pick tune click the plus rename this to this is going to be for his top okay press enter I can change that to a kind of a blue 
or whatever you wish. Okay, I'm going to add a new slot, click new, select the tune material, click the plus and type in pants and press enter. Change the color to a, I think it was a kind of a brown color. And we can darken it a small bit. Okay, something like that. Okay, and that's the process anyway. That's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is just apply some of those materials to this character. So if I tab into edit mode, what I want to do is select his hair first off. So I'm just going to hover the mouse and press L. select hair and just assign that to okay it's not the nicest color in the world I'm just going to change this maybe darken it down a little bit maybe something like that okay and I'm just going to press a once or twice to make sure everything is deselected okay and what I might do is Press and hold Alt and just select this entire ring here. And press Control up, or Control and plus. Something like this. And we can just press C and maybe deselect everything above his neck or from his neck up. Press Z, bring come into wireframe, press C and just make sure all of this gets deselected. And I might just switch to face selection, so control tab and select face. And now it might be a little bit easier to deselect all of this. Just go around here. Okay, and with the jumper selected, I'm going to choose the top material and hit a sign. Okay, and I'll just press A to deselect. And what I might do is just select this entire ring around here. So press and hold Alt, do the same thing over here, and Control Plus. Okay, if I press and hold Control and Alt, okay, it deselects it. I'm just going to press C and just select all of this again. Press C and just deselect his jumper.
just going to go into side view, press Z for wireframe, press C, just increase this selection wheel and Okay, and that's his pants selected. I'm going to select his pants over here and assign that material. Okay, I'm just going to tab back to edit mode. Okay, he's not looking too bad. Okay, I'm just going to tab back into edit mode. Select these buttons. Oh, control Z that. Just L on these and I'm going to give it the same color as his pants for simplicity okay what else have we got we have his shoes so make the shoes I'm going to select press L okay I'm going to select a face on each bottom and control plus this up and I'm just going to make it the blue top or the color blue same as his top going to select these control plus just select all of this I want to change this to a different color Gonna select a new color. Gonna select tune, which I should have been doing the first time, and just click the plus. And I'm just gonna call this white. Press enter and change this to white or close to it. All right, something like that, and assign that. Okay, so his eyes, I'm just going to press L. Actually, I'm, I'm just going to press A once or twice to make sure everything is deselected. Press L. And I'm going to use the white for his eyes. It's probably not a good idea. You could create an, a separate material for his eyes, but I'm just going to do that. Assign that. All right, and I'm going to press the backspace key. Oh, I can't. Okay, and what I want to do is make new material for his eyes. So I'm going to open a new slot and select Tune and click plus and rename this to Pupil. Press enter. New slot and I'm just going to select the tune again as the base and click plus and type in blue now you can have whatever color you wish for his eyes press enter 